I'm gonna solve the biggest mystery in my state, and I travel multiple hours to try and get to the bottom of this. However, first I would like to explain the lore behind all of this, so that you're not just lost in all this rambling on about these rocks in the middle of the forest that honestly don't matter, that <laughs> they, they don't mean anything. Hope you like the video, and enjoy. To most people, Indiana is a forgettable one-dimensional state. A flat wasteland where if you're not too careful, you might start to hear screams from the void <laughs> out in the depths of the cornfields. And if you're exploring any of the northern two-thirds of the state, that's nothing but the truth. But if you go anywhere south of what I like to refer as the Interstate 70 border that divides the state, the rolling hills just increase and increase the closer you get to the Ohio River. And that should make complete sense to anyone who's looked at a map. It's the transitional stage from the boringness of that cornfield Midwest as you get closer and closer to the east, the, you know, coast, mountains, all the cool stuff that Indiana just doesn't have. In fact, scientists have even gone on to deem this phenomenon Kentucky foreplay. But within these hills and growing up in them, I've come in contact with so many urban legends, whether it be creepy graveyards, abandoned buildings, or the, the limestone quarries that used to grace my hometown. One of these legends in particular comes from Brown County, just northeast of where I grew up, deep in the Hoosier National Forest. So basically on top of this giant hill, and it's actually the biggest change in elevation in the entire state of Indiana, it's the closest thing we have to a mountain, but on top of it lies something called Indiana Stonehenge. Basically, once you would usually get on top of a big hill, you would usually just find overgrown woods and wildlife. But this time instead, you'll find just a weird halfway cleared out area and just these big rocks everywhere for no apparent reason. Not a single soul alive will ever know the true origins of this site. But you can truly, you can imagine the things that people make up. The urban legends that can form around crap like this. I don't know what it is about random things in the woods that people just make up a story. I pulled up some forums while doing some research on this site and I found some people who apparently know more than me. I'm not sure how much I believe it, but we will be entertaining their theories, so. Let's see what the most popular ones are. One theory states that the stones are an ancient outdoor temple built on top of the mountain, and that certain stones are lined up perfectly with the Earth's equinox. And I'm not even sure what that means, because the equinox is a day. Correct me if I'm wrong. That seems like a bold claim to me, but fair enough. Another person claims that it's some ancient Native American site, and then goes on to claim that Native Americans to this day still meet at this site for something called ceremonial services. And as you might think, that's just a bold-faced lie. There are no native, massive Native American pilgrimages comparable to Mecca, just traveling to this random hill in the middle of Indiana. And finally, deep in this forum, a member simply by the name of JW, just his initials, throws out his theory, which I happen to find the most compelling by far. Just like other sites around the globe, and in particular the Toltec Mounds, these rocks were moved by an ancient group of people, much like the Nephilim a giant race created by other gods mating with prehistoric man. Some helped other races, while others meant only harm. The Smithsonian does much to cover up these facts, yet the internet, if used correctly, will show you everything you need, and if it can't, go there yourself to find out what the internet does not show. So yeah, evidently the biblical Nephilim from the book of frickin' Genesis moved these gigantic rocks that aren't actually even that big, just, just shy of an actual chunk of limestone. On this random mountain in southern Indiana. Not even a mountain, it's just shy of a mountain. That's what happened. That's the most reasonable explanation possible. And to be honest, I definitely, I want this one to be true so bad. And just for reference, this is what I imagine when I picture the Nephilim. Um, this is what I imagine a half man, half angel would be. Like all great conspiracies though, these obviously have their skeptics. One user goes on to say that it's just an abandoned quarry off a beautiful trail. Probably the most likely, but a really lame thing to say in a forum about these fun ideas of what these rocks could be. A different user actually challenges her by asking, do you think they moved here on their own? And then out of nowhere, J frickin' W pokes his head back in, saying no, I think they were moved by giants. And then, my favorite part, a different unknown user says, I agree with JW. What the heck is going on? Who is JW? And why are people asking him, have you been there? How intense is the energy? What energy? What are you guys talking about? I can't keep track of all of it. You know, I'm getting so sick of all of this debate and different answers. No one can just give you a clean cut. This is what happened. So I think it's about time I go there and find it out myself. You, you, you can cut the clip now. All right, boys, it's the big day. We're going to solve this mystery. I'm actually going to pick up some friends. Um, you've met most of them on my channel before. They're no strangers, but there is a new guest today, and I'm really excited for you guys to meet them. Bro, where's the freaking chocolate milk? There it is. Ooh, protein. Just got some food for him. Also, why was one chocolate milk at a gas station 459? 
that's absolutely insane. Four dollars and fifty nine cents for a chocolate milk. <laughs> hey, no cussing on camera, Kane. It's about time. Oh, I accidentally ordered a coffee too. Can you grab? Can you grab my? Can you grab this coffee? <laughs> I ordered on the app, and it wasn't my recently. It auto queued my last breakfast order. Here, can you grab this too? <laughs> Dude, this was expensive. It was four fifty nine. It was four dollars and fifty nine cents. Take your receipt. <laughs> I have the I have the key in my hand. Take off nine cents. Four fifty nine cents. Oh no, copyright. Oh, what are you doing? I'm getting a good shot. I think we're good. Can't, can't stop, stop. Oh, here's Banjo. By the way, we all love her, obviously. Banjo. Banjo. <laughs> banjo. Hey, Banjo. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be a butt this shot the gonna, whole way up. This is gonna be so shaky, bro. It's gonna be crazy. Bro, it's gonna be like an adventure document. <laughs> Get the footage off my butt. It's my first time vlogging. I think I should switch to vlogging full time. I'm not great on this. Action shot. <laughs> Kane. <laughs> He's to the right, dude. Look, look at him. Thanks for the action shot, Kane. I appreciate that. Oh, she struggled to get up that wall. It is the biggest change in elevation in the entire state. And I forgot how big that is. Okay, I actually think we need to recalibrate this shot. I want you to stand to the side of me like this. Stand to the side. And you're gonna, you remember these drills in basketball? <laughs> you're gonna side shuffle. Do it, do it, do it. I can't get this, get this. Oh. Revolutionary footage right here. Come on, big girl. She's just a little girl. She'll grow up. Hey, side shuffle. We talked about this, Kane. Here, I'll step to the left and help make it a little bit easier for you. This trail is so wide. What are you talking about? Look, look at how wide this trail is. <laughs> what is she doing? We're going to milk her for so many views. Maybe we should put her in the thumbnail. <laughs> why do you want this microphone so much? I really enjoy it. That's exactly why you want it. No. You just want to talk in a really close like this. You're going to make <laughs> He's running again. It's like guys, guys pretend the camera's not there. It's pretend be, like we didn't perfect. just set the camera there. It's just we just like walking. Through. Yeah, we just keep walking don't through. Don't look at it. Just look straight ahead. Yeah, just, act natural. Frick, I looked. <laughs> Shoot. Shoot. Oh, frick, I looked. Oh god. <laughs> what phone? What phone? What phone? <laughs> the safest place to keep a child. Hot car. In a baby pool. Also, warm bowl of piss. Reminds him of home. Reminds him of home. Smells like mom. I don't even know where the phone is, so I can't accidentally look at it. Oh, this is very obvious. I think there's a, there's a good shot of Banjo jumping over that. Watch your leaves with three. Oh, imagine imagine being affected by poison ivy. Oh, I'm severely allergic. Imagine not being immune. We kind of got a fork in the trails right now. Left and right. I love a good class. I'm thinking right. I believe the ancient half god, half man Nephilim trying to trick us right now because they don't want their secrets to be uncovered. I say left. You say left? Okay, we'll see. Feeling less confident. We're in the wrong place, aren't we? <laughs> I didn't say that. I wouldn't say that. <laughs> um, at this point, enjoy, I think we see it out. Enjoy this epic cut towards our next destination, which may or may, may not be Indiana Stonehenge. Watch this. Is that the prophet? Go, go get the phone. Go get the phone. Is that the prophet JW? <laughs> JW yeah, himself. The prophet. <laughs> Speaker of Nephilim. You can, you, can, you can feel the energy here. On a scale from 1 to 10, what would you rate the energy right now? 11. 11. <laughs> what about you, Kane? <sighs> yeah. <laughs> So, Brendan, yeah. there are a couple possibilities here that we discussed earlier. Okay. First, we have this being an ancient site of worship. Sh show the site. Show the site. There's more over there. <laughs> and there, there's actually way more like, and over there. An ancient site of worship that is lined up to the Earth's equinox. I don't understand what you mean by the Earth's equinox. I don't understand <laughs> either. What does that even mean? The forum said, 
that is perfectly lined up to the Earth's equinox. The equinox is a day. There's two of them. There's two of them. It's two days. And it, okay, Cam, the truth the cross shot. Hey, look at this ancient relic in the fireplace. Here, here, wait. An ancient drink of the, of the Nephilim. The compass, the compass just keeps going up. It's just spinning. <laughs> That's just spinning. It's just spinning. No, wait, 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 wait. Look at my compass. It's... <laughs> the compass is still spinning. That's freaking crazy. <laughs> I forgot I screen recorded that. <laughs> Are you actually prepared for this event? <laughs> 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 the second possibility is that this is an ancient gathering site for Native Americans. And the Native Americans still meet to this day. There are Native American glyphs. Like, look at that snake. Gavin. Classic Native American name. Animal. <laughs> this is Vaughn. That's an animal. No, that's Vaughn. That's an animal. It's an eye. We're all within the eye of the ancient Nephilim, is what this is symbolizing right here. I've seen movies about this. The third possibility, <laughs> the ancient Nephilim. Now, Brendan, as a former biblical scholar, he went to Bible college. What's the context behind the Nephilim? Nephilim are the ancient children of the angels and humans. Giants that were locked underneath a mountain by God for thousands of years for being naughty. He's actually not kidding. That is truly what Genesis says the Nephilim are. So... I would also consider it a possibility that the Nephilim did come here. In fact, it, I think it's the leading possibility theory. How would they get from ancient Mesopotamia to here? How would these rocks get here? Dude, it's like it's like walking across a pond. You can't walk across a pond. You could. It's pretty swim. Pond. Giants can't swim. They're too heavy. They're too heavy? Yeah, they can't swim. It's about density. You idiot. You moron. Giants well, can't swim. Why do boats float? The Titanic didn't. The biggest, <laughs> the biggest boat of all time. <laughs> the biggest boat of all time is the Titanic. All right? That's and not it true. Couldn't, it couldn't float. <laughs> the biggest boat of all time is not the Titanic. No, the biggest what boat ever. Think? The biggest Ooh, boat ever is the Titanic, sink. bro. That's the biggest boat of all time. It was, right. It's unsinkable, bro. No, they made a bigger one because that one sank. And you they said guys, that's too big of a boat. You guys are right. And possibly number four, everyone's least favorite, that this is simply an abandoned old quarry. What kind of idiot would you have to be to see these Native American artifacts? That's that's an ancient drink. They used to drink that. Final thoughts. Trying to wrap up this video. Which of the four possibilities are we thinking? Brendan. I think it was giants. I also think it was giants. I also think it was giants. The ancient Nephilim of the past. How else could these have gotten here? They still linger. How else could these have gotten here? Look at Between the cheeks, they picked them up, guaranteed. Look at how big these rocks are. Wait, Kane. Do you feel that? Do you feel that? Oh my god! Ah! So yeah, there's the video. It's my first vlog ever, which was actually kind of exciting. If you still manage to like the video and follow along with everything that was happening, my friends had a lot of fun, you know, creative expression recording this video. But if you like the video, consider subscribing. It's free. You could always change your mind later. Blah, blah, blah. Here's some clips of my friend uh, using that stupid microphone. He, he was this close. He had such a problem. I don't know why he thought it was so funny, but here's some of that. Have a nice day. Do you feel the energy? <laughs> it's Groot. It's Groot. 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 <laughs> I'm having such an enjoyable time on this map. <laughs> no. <laughs>